coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. President Trump and Secretary Chow announced drone integration pilot program. DRL announces 2018 Alliance World Championship in Saudi Arabia. And Kansas Town allows drone flight in local parks. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. Senior producer Brianne Cross will be away for a number of weeks on special projects and will return when complete. President Trump has directed Sec Trans Elaine Chow to launch an initiative to safely test and validate advanced operations for drones in partnership with state and local governments and select jurisdictions. The UAS Integration Pilot Program implements a directive signed by the President, and the results will be used to accelerate the safe integration UAS into the national airspace and to realize the benefits of unmanned technology in our economy. The program will help tackle the most significant challenges in integrating drones into the national airspace while reducing risk to public safety and security. The program is designed to provide regulatory certainty and stability to local governments and communities, UAS owners and operators who are accepted into the program. In less than a decade, the potential economic benefit of integrated unmanned aerial systems into the nation's airspace is estimated to equal up to $82 billion and create up to 100,000 jobs. AMA's Public Relations and Government Affairs Director, Chad Bedro provided some initial analysis. We're looking forward to seeing if the White House's new pilot program is a viable solution for local governments and the industry to coordinate with the FAA and keep our skies safe for all. We're also encouraged that this new pilot program appears to preserve FAA's authority over the nation's airspace. The program will help the DOT and FAA develop a regulatory framework that will allow more complex low-altitude operations, identify ways to balance local and national interests, improve communications with local, state, and tribal jurisdictions, address security and privacy risk, and accelerate the approval of operations that currently require special authorizations. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The increasing popularity of nano drones, especially among the consumer segment, has certainly helped the global nano drones market to gain traction. According to BIS Research, the global nano drones market reported a revenue of $284.45 million in 2016. Military and law enforcement segment is expected to account for the highest revenue by the forecast year of 2023. Consumer segment is likely to grow at the highest rate owing to its increasing use in the aerial photography and recreational activities. After he shot down a drone valued at about $1,000 at Hover Ponds Recreation Area in Oregon, 33-year-old Christopher Grimes, staff of Central Point, Oregon, saw photos of the event on Facebook and turned himself in to the local sheriff. The aircraft owner reported the incident to police after shooting video in the recreation area and provided footage to authorities showing Grind staff shooting at the drone standing next to his vehicle. Grind staff was booked on a charge of criminal mischief. Drone, airline, and helicopter pilots have much more in common than just the same airspace. This was the main conclusion of the first workshop for manned and unmanned aviation pilots organized by the European Cockpit Association in Brussels last week. Under the common theme, One Sky Fits All, the attendees reflected on their common passion for flying, similar operational threats, challenges, and comparable trends in their profession. Firefighting efforts in California's Santa Cruz Mountains were halted for a few hours last Wednesday after a drone was sighted being flown in an area where firefighting aircraft were also operating. The incident occurred in the vicinity of the Bear Fire in Boulder Creek, California. 
Flights were halted about 10.30 a.m. local time after the drone was spotted. Authorities grounded all manned aircraft flying in the area until it was determined that the drone was no longer in the air. Operations resumed about noon. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The Drone Racing League and the General Sport Authority of Saudi Arabia have announced the 2018 DRL Lions World Championship will take place in Saudi Arabia next September. The 2018 DRL Alliance World Championship will be the first professional drone race staged in the kingdom, marking the seventh and final event of the 2018 DRL season. The Alliance World Championship will push eight FPV pilots to race custom-built DRL drones in excess of 90 miles per hour through a complex three-dimensional race course fighting to be crowned the world's greatest drone pilot. The final race will be broadcast in 87 countries on the best sports programs on the globe, including ESPN, OSN, Sky Sports, Pro Sieben Sat 1, Fox Sports Asia, and Disney XD. DRL's 2017 season followed 16 professional pilots competing through six races in the U.S. and Germany, with the final eight going head-to-head -head in the DRL Alliance World Championship in London's Alexandra Palace. The programming reached more than 50 million global broadcast viewers in the first two seasons and drove more than 100 million views online. The city of Hayesville, Kansas has approved a new drone use policy allowing drone pilots to take off and land UAS in all Hayesville parks. This decision affects over a dozen city-owned parks and reserve areas in the town, which is south of aviation-centric Wichita. Hayesville Chief Administrative Officer Will Black noted the new policy is a first in that it allows drone flights above public property. They need to be aware of other individuals where they are flying, and this is an FAA rule that they are not supposed to fly over a person who is not the operator. So that would also, of course, include groups of persons. While previously city regs limited drone flights to private property, the new, more comprehensive ruling covers RC aircraft, model aircraft, and model rockets, among the permitted uses in their definition of what constitutes a UAS. Black added that all drone-related nuisance, privacy, and trespass concerns will have to be addressed through existing rulemaking and was the result of citizen requests for a change in their drone policy. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org.